you know, when I'm in the classroom, I'm, um, I really want to push my students to not just, um, uh, uh, memorize things, to critically think, to learn, to be have ownership in their education and understand that that's a, that's a lifelong journey. One thing that they're going to do in college, they're going to see that over and over again um, in, the, in the future. And, and with that, we have a large proportion of our student body, and I think this is probably ubiquitous across almost all animal science departments in the country, as students that want to go to vet school or they, their access to animals for their entire life has been largely related to veterinary work. And so part of my job as an um, instructor is to show them the avenues of what a um, career in animal science um, can look like, even if you're not a veterinarian. And to me, one of those areas is in this space and is in nutrition and in feed formulation um, and so to me, part of this partnership is, 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 is exposing, um, to our students, what is out there and expanding the breadth of their knowledge of what they can do in animal science. And to me, transitioning from just teaching on paper to applying those concept and real life type of scenarios, allows students to see themselves and potentially in careers like that. And we've had students in the class that, uh, you know, they thought they wanted to go to vet school. Maybe vet school wasn't for them um, from an academic perspective, but they really took to doing formulation, took to nutrition and, you know, now have internships or jobs in that space. Um, to me, that's really encouraging because um, it, it puts into vocation a lot of what these types of partnerships and exposing our students to these opportunities and why they're important.